on Saturday the 22nd of March in the year 2025. Members of the CAFRE project held a news conference where they outlined their stunning discovery of enormous turbine-like structures hidden under the Giza Plateau for many millennia. They suggest that the pyramids are energy devices for a large underground city, comparing this underground city at Giza to Derenkugu in Turkey. This city at Giza could be a vast bunker under the ground complete with an energy machine on the surface that has withstood the test of time. This is what we know. Unlike ground penetrating radar, SAR techniques uses X-band microwaves that barely penetrate the ground. Instead, they detect subtle surface movements, shivers caused by resonating voids deep underground or behind walls. And it's these shivers that akin to seismic waves, they create a Doppler effect that SAR measures with high resolution in distance, direction and frequency shift. This method analyzes these patterns across pixel lines to pinpoint the void's locations, tracing the mechanical surface effects back to their subterranean sources. These recent investigations by the CAFRE project have unveiled intriguing subterranean structures beneath the Giza Plateau, and this has sparked discussions about the pyramid's original purpose, utilising synthetic aperture radar SAR tomography. The researchers have identified five expansive, identical underground formations beneath the CAFRE pyramid. These structures, distributed across five levels with sloped roofs, are interconnected by geometric pathways. Notably, eight vertical cylindrical wells encircled by descending spiral pathways extend 648 metres below the surface. And this culminates in two substantial cube-shaped structures measuring 80 metres on each side. The researchers propose that these formations are man-made rather than natural. And it's these findings that have reignited interest in theories suggesting that the pyramids at Giza functioned as ancient power plants. The engineer Chris Dunn previously hypothesised that the Great Pyramid of Giza was designed to harness and convert natural energy resources into usable power. According to Chris Dunn, the pyramid's precise construction, the strategic material selection and intricate internal design were aimed at harnessing and converting natural energy sources into usable power. Similarly, physicist Joseph F. Farrell proposed that the pyramids might have served as large-scale energy generators or even as weapons, with structures like cylindrical wells acting as conduits for energy or sound waves, and cubic formations functioning as energy storage or stabilisation units. So as we say, on Saturday, the CAFRI project held a groundbreaking press conference titled Conferenza Giza La Pyramide e la Porta del Tempe, the pyramids and the door of time. Well, they presented astonishing findings beneath the pyramid of CAFRI on the Giza Plateau. These researchers have disclosed that beneath the pyramid of CAFRI on the Giza Plateau, they have identified extensive subterranean tunnels and chambers, some of which appear to be engineered shafts resembling energy conduits. These passages align with similar structures detected under the Pyramid of Khufu, reinforcing the theory that the entire Giza complex was interconnected for a unified technological purpose. Geophysical scans indicate that these tunnels extend deep into the plateau, possibly linking to other pyramids and the Sphinx. The shafts display precision engineering 
with smooth walls and right angles, suggesting they were not natural formations, but deliberately constructed. One of the most striking revelations was the discovery of stone structures resembling the Z of Jed Pillar, which is an ancient Egyptian symbol of stability and power. These objects, found in underground chambers, appear to function as energy transformers or capacitors, similar to the granite coffer in the King's Chamber of the Great Pyramid. These Z-like blocks may have served as resonant chambers for harnessing and amplifying energy. The researchers speculate that these transformers could have interacted with piezoelectric properties of quartz-rich granite, generating electromagnetic fields. Perhaps the most radical claim from the conference was the suggestion of a massive underground turbine-like mechanism beneath the Giza Plateau. The team's data indicates rotational patterns in certain chambers, hinting at kinetic energy systems. If confirmed, this would mean the pyramids were not static monuments, but instead active power stations utilising hydrothermal, acoustic or electromagnetic energy. The CAFRI project supports the idea of the pyramid power plant theory, first popularised by researchers like Christopher Dunn and Nikola Tesla, who speculated that the Great Pyramid of Giza was a wireless energy transmitter. The limestone casing stones, now mostly missing, may have acted as insulators, while the inner granite chambers conducted energy. The subterranean chambers and shafts could have functioned as waveguides, channeling Earth's natural frequencies into usable form. This conference's subtitle, The Door of Time, alludes to another controversial hypothesis that the Giza structures were part of a larger space-time manipulation system. Some researchers propose that the pyramids align with Orion's belt and that their precise mathematical dimensions encode advanced astronomical and temporal knowledge. This underground network may have once served as a resonant cavity interacting with Earth's Schumann resonance to create stable energy fields. If the CAFRI project's findings are validated, then it would undoubtedly rewrite the history books, proving that ancient civilizations possessed lost high technology. Some of the possible implications include a re-evaluation of ancient Egyptian knowledge, the pyramids may have been multifunctional structures serving as energy generators, communication devices, or even portals. New archaeological investigations are needed. The Egyptian authorities may need to permit deeper excavations beneath the Giza Plateau to explore these hidden chambers. And what about modern energy applications? Understanding how these ancient power plants worked could inspire new, renewable energy technologies. While the discoveries are revolutionary, to say the least, they face scepticism from mainstream archaeologists, who argue that there is no contextual evidence to support this idea, no evidence such as advanced technology in ancient Egypt. However, the CAFRI project team insists that conventional Egyptology has overlooked key anomalies in Giza's design. The CAFRI project's press conference has opened a new chapter in pyramid research, suggesting that the Giza Plateau was far more than a burial site. It may have been an enormous energy facility with an underground network of transformers and turbines. As further investigations unfold, we may be on the verge of rediscovering lost ancient science, proving that our ancestors had knowledge that rivalled or even surpassed our modern understanding of energy and physics. 
For now, the mystery deepens beneath the sands of Giza, waiting to be fully uncovered. <laughs>